Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 14 on the Mysterious JG. I did something that Mysterious JG rarely does in these RTK videos, but I've been kind of inspired by the fact that I'm playing as Yuan Shu. I just executed some enemy officers, including the ruler of an enemy force. We attacked Liu Biao because he attacked us, and he attacked us because I had one of my units march close to his territory. Um, but instead of just um, killing that unit, which had not taken any of our territory, uh, I killed it, took one of his cities, which he was in, and killed him. So let that be a lesson. You don't mess with Yuan Shao. His nobility um, is apparent. His destiny to rule China is undisputable. Um, from here, we already spent some gold trying to make people happy. I didn't mean to banish. I meant instead... To have our officers learn. Learn the value of doing what Yuan Shu tells you, or Yuan Shu tells you. Han Jian captured an officer. He deserves a reward. He deserves a break today. Let's learn, have him learn how to cheer. Huzzah! I wonder if Cal Mao, who is uh, primarily a uh, a naval officer, if he will be allowed to learn this thing that seems to be uh, connected with ships and they refuse to let anybody freaking learn this damn thing. Well, he didn't even seem to be on the list of guys who could learn something. At least I didn't notice his portrait. Oh, because he's on the move. What can you learn? You have no tactics. You should be able you can learn to jeer people. Boy, oh, you got a tiny ding dong! She's a girl, that's what they do. They cheer the size of your ding dong. I think I might have explained more about myself than about the world at large. Um, it's going to be tough to. Uh, shooting you now. I just want anybody who can do it quickly, honestly. Well, everybody who's actually here. I don't want anybody. Oh, you yeah, know, well, well, we'll let Shootin do it. It'll, it'll, uh, it'll decrease his usefulness this turn uh, in Wan. But the main thing I want to do is I want to get any searching done for officers and stuff. So we'll have all the brand new people. will do it. Uh, all the people who are already there will search, and then. Honestly, let's get let's get all the recommended people searching because this will take. Oh, but you're in Guam. That's going to take a long time. We'll let JG search too, because this is the very first time we search this city. I do want to make sure we search it thoroughly. So JG might lose a turn or two. Shooting will be a little less effective than normal just on this turn. I'm not pulling somebody all the way to Guam Lake. But once we've hit the point where we're not finding officers and stuff, all we're finding is tomes, then we'll treat it like any other city. Is there anybody who can search in a single day? That would just be you, I think. See, I feel like... I feel like I'm doing something wrong in Guanling by not having him doing something else. He's got... Oh, he'd be really good at anything except barracks. So somebody who's not doing barracks, he should be... Helping out. Although, actually, you just hit... You just hit level 2, so you need to switch over to barracks, too. Well, you know, let's keep you on food. Let's, let's just... Everybody concentrate on food for a while because that's the thing that I'm running out of the most rapidly everywhere. Except here. I mean, ah, I wish I had more people who could do barrack stuff here. Mm, 
guys who are currently doing your trick. Fine, maybe there's a reason I hadn't uh, figured that out differently. I like I wasted a bit of your time there, but that's that's okay, because how about I waste your time anyway? <laughs> Just kidding. Alright. So we will seemingly waste your time with searches. Occasionally they're finding tomes, but mostly they're just doing nothing, which is a shame, because there should be a chance they will get some gold. A few guys should be heading down for, um... Well, your stats are terrible. I mean, I'm, I don't want to just send nothing but reject officers down to our new city. But that is what's likely to happen here. I'm out of orders now because I actually did other stuff this turn, so I burned through orders and then doing things that were somewhat useful at least. Perfect for conducting searches. Except that he's not actually in the city and it will be wasting his time. Ooh. Here's a thing to bear in mind, too. Officers who don't like. Like, this is Kai. Kaishi, hold on. <laughs> this is, um. This is. Okay, he's not going to be able to do it. Um, oh, what the hell, it's worth a try. But that's the mother of the uh, person who... Because uh, we've got this dispute between Liu Biao's son. This is Liu Biao's wife. She's going to join us even though we just killed Liu Biao because she doesn't want to live in an empire run by Liu Biao's son by another woman because her family will fall out of power. That's what's going on here, which is interesting in and of itself. This is the situation we want to be observing now, though. Where is Cao Bao going? He's going for this little crossing. I think I need to go cut him off. She doesn't seem to be here, unfortunately. We might have to give up. He's canceled the recruitment. Oh, oh Shooting Yu Mao, I found this X mark when I was searching Jin Ye. Oh, cool, we can give that to Liu Bei later. Good job, Shooting Yu Mao. I guess. I mean, my headcanon is that he gets to keep it. You aren't sure I'll have these negotiations wrapped up in an instant. I have come today on behalf of my lord, Yuan Shu. What matter do we need to discuss? I'll hear what you have to say. My lord Yuan Chu wishes to form an alliance with you. It is hard to say whether this alliance is something we need. Okay, we will cooperate with Yuan Chu army. This has lifted a weight off my soldier shoulders. Yuan Chu will be very happy about this news. My soldiers have had a weight lifted. We have formed an alliance. He really is going to march into our territory. I think we're about to go to war with Liu Bei, whether I like it or not. There are rumors of an excellent item in Shochun. It should be worth looking into. Liu Bei army has an army moving towards Shochun. We can't just sit back and relax. There's our gold getting spent. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. 
Got a transport unit heading out with some supplies. Supplies here seem to be going up, though. Even if the expenditures are at one third and income is by month, I'm turning the supply chain around to go back to Shochun. Runan doesn't have the forces to really be marching anything more than this unit out anyway. Zhang Jia, we're going to have to take with uh, these forces coming out of Zhu Chang and, their, and the like. I think we can handle that. But uh, now that we've got our new um, alliance with uh, Sun Tzu, there's something else that we need to get taken care of. And I don't think we need to worry about the rewards just yet. The Fall Blue Boo is about to go down here. Uh, number city controlled by Lubu Army is one. Okay, Lubu's got two cities, which is the only thing preventing the plot from wiping him out. But there's something else that we need to do. Liu, Liu, Yuan Shu, in launching a quick counter-strike to punish an infringement on his territory by Liu Biao, Unexpectedly to me, and I would think to you guys viewing at home, and also because I never checked the city to see who was there, we unexpectedly captured Liu Biao and put him to death. Liu Biao is a member of the old Imperial clan. Yuan Shu possesses the Imperial seal, and to realize his dream of becoming Emperor, he is a member of a noble clan, but he is not a member of the current Imperial clan. In the novel and in history, his argument was that the time of the Han and the time of the Liu's had ended. He's just killed a powerful warlord of the Liu clan. I have a better excuse than I could have expected to, at this later date than the game would have had. This has to be what triggers you, uh, Yuan Shu to think he's the emperor. He just destroyed a member of the Imperial, the the old, out of date and just beyond redemption imperial house he it's a member of the liu the ruling family of han has been defeated by yuan shu and his glorious armies this is already the man whose forces had tried to get their hands on the imperial seal and couldn't prevent it from getting to its true destination yuan shu sun jin found the imperial seal and passed it to his son after he was killed by the Liu's. But when his son gave it to Yuan Shu, that was the true destination of the Imperial Seal. The Imperial Seal represents the will of heaven. It found its way into the hands of Yuan Shu, despite the efforts of Yuan Shu's enemies, the Liu's, to prevent it. So having struck a victory against the Liu's, and having thus properly rewarded the lowly Sun Tzu, He's a mere boy, but his role in helping Yuan Shu has been rewarded. He's been given safe two years of safety under the wing of Yuan Shu. Yuan Shu has granted protection to this young man. He has avenged the death of this young man's father. Clearly, Yuan Shu has done right by Sun Tzu. He's punished the villains who killed Sun Tzu's father, and he's now the rightful owner of the Imperial Seal. There really is no way that you could argue Yuan Shu should not be the Emperor of China. Ever since obtaining the Imperial Seal of Yung Gao, Yuan Shu's ambition grew larger with each day. Is everyone here? I have an important matter to discuss today. It has been 400 years since the birth of the Han Dynasty, but its time has passed. The land is swallowed by chaos. As someone whose family has occupied the highest civil post for four generations, the time has come for me to take over the Imperial Throne! Yuan Shu, please wait! Where is this suddenly all coming from? This does not seem like you. What are you talking about? I am the descendant of the Chens of the Earth Element. It is my fate to succeed the Han of the Fire Element. The prophecy states that the one who will succeed the Han will be the Dang Tu Gao. The middle character is clearly referring to my courtesy name. 
Additionally, now that I have the Imperial Seal of Yungao, this can only be divine destiny. H however, if you take the throne, you will surely provoke the other lords. What, however? Are you suggesting I refuse divine destiny? I have already decided. I will become the Emperor no matter what anyone says. In AD 195, Yuan Shu declared himself the Emperor and assumed the throne. He named his kingdom Zhong. However, this reckless action drew the ire of the other lords, and Yuan Shu made enemies of them all. Self-proclaimed Emperor, Yuan Shu names himself Emperor and creates the kingdom of Zhong. Fame goes up to level 4. Doctor has increased expansion plus one, total cost plus five. Will you move to administration and begin the expansion? Yes. So not only are we at level four, but we're still more than halfway to level. We basically moved an entire level in one jump. And uh, by declaring himself emperor, he has become famous, or if you prefer, infamous throughout China. So now we get to pick another thing to unlock and I would say from here morale limits strength and fish probably battle formation it's, just the, it's got the it seems like the one that you should be unlocking as quickly as possible because it has the fewest that you get to use so I'm going to go ahead and go for support eh. see what kind of things we could do with support you've got like shipbuilding which is, they've reversed the names of these things, but shipbuilding is the one for city durability. Supply lines, supply consumption of units has decreased. Maybe that's something I should be looking at. Transport maneuver and transport loads are increased. Shipbuilding again, which is durability. Transport, city durability. Facilities. Oh, we can get catapult towers and stuff. City's durability. We don't seem to have anybody who's giving us anything uh, shipbuilding. Schemes, which I seldom put anything into. Development of enemy land has decreased. Amount of gold and supplies requested during negotiations decreases. Counterattack, enemy lands. I think just strengthening uh, formations is what we should concentrate on next. We've got five more points. Ring formation, formation of tower, ram, and catapult formations has increased. This produces the effects of all battle policies. I have to get rid of this, though. Get somebody else with fish. Because that is one of the main ones that I use a lot. If I lost this and then did. I have nine, basically, that I could spend. This is leaving me short by one point. And then... Ring... Arrow... Fish, but I can't quite afford it. I don't use snake too much. I think arrow I'm probably more likely to use. I could also put somebody in schemes and just something that costs one. Counterattack damage flicked by cities has increased. Hopefully I won't need that because that means I'm getting attacked. Policy above level 10 exists. It's okay. Sanction. Events. 
City Expansion 1, Runan. Okay. Uh, number of turns sequel to more than three. Runan is controlled by player force. It's small. Public orders greater than 90. Total of Runan's commerce level is above six. Yeah, we can do this. I thought we were going to get this last time, but I guess the public order might have been too low. Your Majesty, Funan has developed quite a bit and it's become quite crowded. Would you consider expanding the city? Very well, get to work on it then. Right away. By the way, did you like kowtow and show the proper respect when you came in? And the Emperor, you know. Runan reached level 1 medium, or city level medium. Runan grows to medium size. People are pretty unhappy. But, we've got a lot of uh, titles that we can give out. Because now that we are the Emperor, we've got lots of people that we can give titles to. Uh, this will increase people's stipends. Oh, this is actually kind of expensive. I might want to wait on some of this. What if I do this? Auto appoint. I mean, we could go through and do this manually, but, uh... I'm curious what the computer thinks we should be. Vulture Bean should be the Prime Minister. It thinks. Li Jing Ming should be chief officer. You should be senior minister. You should be the chief minister. Genghis Khan should be minister. Don Everstar should be the horse captain. Da Jun should be the marshal. Agamar Grabarar should be the guard captain. Earl King should be undersecretary. Where did, um. Oh, people who already had titles might have gotten boned in this. I'm trying to figure out what happened to, um. What happened to, uh, Monster Man? Yeah, people who already had titles. Oh, people who are active can't be selected. I mean, I could wait until, uh... There's plenty of things I could promote Bobo to later. Yeah, where, where did Shooting Your Mao end up? How come he didn't get a title? Because Bobo I can promote to something later. But this really is increasing stipends by quite a bit. Uh... Looking for my created officers who don't already have titles. Lethal can't get a title right now because he's active. Um, Ma Li is active. Shooting your mouth is active. Okay, I have to wait a few turns if I want um, some of these guys. That's what happened here, basically. Okay, so Molly and Bobo and Ald, some of these people are in the field. So I could give titles to everyone and leave titles for them. But if I wait a turn, Shooting Your Mouth will be back from what he was doing. So I think I should wait a turn uh, to just to treat my created officers as well as possible. Well, thank you. So me. But this means I need to spend some gold to try to get people back because they're going to be pissed. A lot of people's... Ooh. Yeah, I can't afford... To... Oh, never mind, I can. My gold would be going from 9986 to... Yeah, more than half of the gold from Zhu Chang would be paid out to people on this turn. And it's not going to fully make everybody happy either. Good thing this city has so much gold. Yikes. What? 
What the hell? Let's pay everybody a bunch of money. Gladly accept it. Who wants to come to work for the new empire? Liu Yao ended up working for Liu Qi. right now. We have an iron flail from Ga Ning. Well, what happened to Hexmark? I guess shooting Yao has to get back to his home city before we can do anything with any of that stuff. Alright, well, what about Jin Ye? Has it got more officers in it, or is it still where it was? Active officers, nine. Okay, so it's got more officers. You got plus two, plus two. Oh, you guys are garbage. You know that? <laughs> You're already in charge of Jin Ye. Put Kai Mao in charge. And do commerce. This conquer land is one. Why is he doing barracks? Oh, God. You got better conquer land anyway. Conquer land of one. You should be working on commerce because it's already being developed. What the hell, man? Suffered this area. It sure has. I would agree with you on that one. Alright, so I want to wait a turn before I start. Uh... Really focusing in on. Um... Awarding people titles. But yeah, everyone is going to hate us now. So this is. This is a thing that I've been putting off for a while because everyone. Everyone hates us now. Uh, we're enemies of Cao Cao, enemies of Liu Bei, enemies of Sun Tzu, but we have an alliance with them. So everything I said about how he's going to favor us because we killed Liu Biao, yeah, not true. He, he is an enemy of ours. Basically, all forces on the map are enemies except for Gong Zhong Zan. I don't understand why. Certain forces that are really far away from us don't seem to be affected by this. Um... Or forces that were neutral towards the Han court. Liu Zhang doesn't care, even though he's distantly related to the guy that we just killed. Uh, Zhang Lu is still untroubled. Gong Xing Du is normal, but who cares? I don't think his force will still be around by the time we get to conquering that area. Kong Rong hates us. Zhang Yang hates us. Wang Lang, troubled. Yan Bai Hu, troubled. Normal with Xi Ji. And, uh, yeah. But our friendship with Gong Xing Zan will never die. So yeah, weird turn. But uh, we declared ourselves the Emperor, and um, it's hard to see who could do anything about it, other than the fact that if everybody teams up together, they can do something about it. Um, Liu Qi here is the third most powerful force, and we're nowhere close to the second most powerful force, Liu Zhang. We're fairly far away. It's not like we're nowhere close, but we're fairly far away. Um, but it's a big toss-up up here. The, the most dangerous force to us is Liu Bei. But uh, he's got about 36k troops. We've got more than double that. The issue, though, is that the only ones that are going to be effective are the ones that are right up here. Uh, because everyone else is too far away. Zhu Chang is 
I, I mean, I've done some dumb stuff. I'm being over aggressive and stupid, but I'm just also kind of having fun. We're attacking Zhang Xia at a time where probably I should be focusing on defending myself from Liu Bei because it looks like he is committed to attacking us. But we'll find out more about that next time. I'm the Mysterious JG. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope you will join me next time in a video where once we've got some guys back in their hometowns, I'll have to set aside a couple of juicy titles to give to officers who are currently in the field. But it'll be time to give everyone titles and possibly blow up my economy by increasing everyone's, um, you know, salaries in the next video. See you then.